Viewer discretion is advised. At Truffington, not far from Cambridge Town, lived a miller who was always as happy as a horse. He could fish and flute, drink, wrestling, and shoot. He always had a knife because he thought he was cool. Though he was also a protector of his possessions, he never let any man lay a hand on his wife. If they did, they had to pay. If any man attempted to flirt with his woman, he would tell them, Cash me outside, how about that? Oh, but was he a bad boy stealing from other people? Now you're probably wondering what this man looks like and what his name is. This man was known as Simkin. His wife was the daughter of the town's priest. Oh no, this actually means he had to look good so he, t so he took his wife to get pregnant in a nunnery because she had to be smart and stay a virgin in order to keep his part of the humanery. So bam! Oh. He now has a 20-year-old daughter and a six-month-old baby. The daughter was very attractive, as men would say. She has dark hair and dreamy eyes. When the teacher of the local college became ill, the miller stole a hundredfold more grain than usual. The warden found out and told off the miller, which shut the miller up. Two college students decided to take on the miller themselves. They claimed they could catch the miller at his game and drove off with the grain to the mill. Sup, Miller? How you doing? What brings you to my meal? We are helping our teacher because he's sick or something and can't do his job. Hashtag lame. We brought our corn for you to mill to flour. Then we're out of here, so do it quick. Ugh. Fine, I'll grind the corn, but what will you do meanwhile? I will watch as you grind the corn. I want to see how it's done. I will watch too. I'm as bad a miller as you, Johnny boy. <laughs> but it takes a long time and you'll become bored. I'm just so rude. The more they try to trick me, the more we bring down the While John and Alan were otherwise occupied, the miller snuck out the door. He headed towards the horses the guys rode on. He let them loose. The miller then snuck back into the house and went back to work. After some time, John went to check on the horse. He came running back to tell Alan they were gone. Alan, the horses are gone. The horses are gone. They must have escaped. We had to find them and go get them. What? Which way did they go? I know nothing. The two hurried, forgetting about their corn and flour, which lay on the dirt ground. Oh, you're an idiot. How could you not have tied them up tighter? You should have put the horses in the barn. The two students went to chase after the horses. When the miller saw that they were gone, he stole some of their flour and commanded his wife to bake it into bread. I think the guys thought I would steal from them, but I know what's up. Look at them. They look like chickens without a head running after the horses. They ain't getting them back. When night finally came, the guys managed to catch them in a ditch. They went back towards the mill. This will be the death of us. Our corn is stolen and everyone at school is going to laugh at us. The two boys went back to the mill. The miller was sitting by the fireplace. Miller, it is late and we need a place to sleep and some food. Come in clutch? You can have it if you pay. Here is all our money. Now can we stay or no? Yes. But the house is small. If you want to stay, you will have to fix the house to fit the two of you. Thanks, Miller. You're cool. But still, we need food, which we can pay for. The Miller sent his daughter to town. With the money, she bought some ale. Oh, yes, the good kind. Bread and roasted goose. The room was set up while she was gone with three beds. One for the Miller and his wife, another for the two boys, and one for his daughter. At the base of the Miller's bed was, was set the cradle of the baby. 
The group ate and drank strong ale. They drank too much and that's an issue. But they're okay. okay. <laughs> Only to knock out at midnight, all except Alan and John. I can't sleep. This sound is horrible. I'll get no rest. To get back at the Miller, I will sleep with his daughter. It's only fair. Against my loss, I'll get some fun, you know? Ellen, the Miller is a dangerous man. If he wakes up, he'll kill us both. Nah, man. He's the type of guy who wouldn't even kill a fly. This isn't fair. I also cheated. But why is Ellen the only one that gets to have a little fun? Hmm, looks like I have to find a way to have a little fun, too. So up went John to find the cradle. He found and moved it close to the bed when the wife got up to answer nature's call and returned searching for the cradle. She went to her bed and found no cradle. I almost lost my way. I almost ended up in the frat boy's bed. Bye, babe. I have to leave now, but know that <laughs> Goodbye, love. But before you leave, I have to tell you that my dad stole some of your flour and baked it into bread. You'll find it by the door. Bye. Shoot, it's almost morning time. I have to get to John and tell him everything. Whew, I almost went to the wrong bed. Yo, John, wake up. I really have to tell you what happened to me and the Miller's daughter. We slept together all night, bro. Don't go for nothing, who's I'm going to kill you! Whoa!